You ready? Good morning, Fabrication 101 people. How are we doing? Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, welcome back. So uh, before we get to what we're working on today, uh, I want to talk to you guys about something kind of personal. Um, I want to talk to you about my butt. And in fact, uh, in a little bit, I'm going to show you my butt. And uh, I've gotten some comments on it. You know, it, yeah, some people think it's big. Uh, it, maybe it is. Uh, some people think it's ugly. Eh, I don't know about that. Um, but you know what? It's, it's my butt. Uh, it's kind of the, honestly, it's the, the butt that I've always wanted. Even when I was back in high school, this is the kind of butt that I dreamed of having. Um, and so hopefully you guys will be kind, uh, but I want to show you guys my butt. Uh, and without dragging this out too much longer, here is my butt. <clears throat> and there it is. There is my butt, my big ugly truck. What do you guys think I was talking about? Uh, the reason I'm bringing up my truck today is because I do want to build a rear bumper for it. Um, I'll talk you a little bit about this truck. Uh, it is a 2001 um, F250 crew cab long bed. Uh, it is a 7.3. Um, it only has about 140,000 miles on it, uh, even though judging by the paint, uh, you wouldn't know that. Uh, there are some special things about this truck um, that are kind of different than a lot of other ones. Uh, if you can see under here, you might be able to see that there is a coil over under there. This has a four link in the front with 16 inch king coil overs. Um, works pretty good. It's from a company called Full Traction. Um, pretty pleased with that. There's not a lot done to the engine in this thing. Uh, it does have a front bumper that I built several years ago. It's kind of starting to show its age just in the uh, a little bit of rust up here. Um, the, obviously the paint is faded pretty badly. Uh, it does have a worn 16.5 TI winch in the front. Um, some uh, rigid lights in the, in the bumper. Now what I want to do today is build a bumper similar to this to go in the back. Uh, and I want to put a winch in it and show you the winch and a few of the other things that I intend to put in this. A little bit more about the truck. Uh, it does have a Detroit locker in the back. Um, I've done a little bit of work uh, on the engine, nothing crazy. The truck weighs like 8,000 pounds. And so that it's never going to be a race truck. I think I ran it down the track once many, many years ago uh, before it had the 37s, uh, before the Detroit, before the front bumper. Uh, and I think it ran like 17 seconds in the quarter mile. So it's not a race truck by any, any sense of the imagination. Uh, I do have kind of plans for this thing eventually. I'd like to see it turned into kind of like a, an overlanding camping, uh, but it is still a workhorse. It's still a tow pig, so I don't want to go too crazy with it. It does have 37s on the front, or on the, on the front. It does have 37s on both ends. Uh, I am kind of tempted to want to see if I can jump up to 40s because uh, I'm really a big fan of the, the big tire in the wheel well, if you hadn't noticed on that thing. Um, so anyway, we'll get this truck backed into my little tiny garage uh, so we can start looking at the rear bumper. All right, so here's what we're working with. This is the, this is my hitch, my trailer hitch, obviously. I don't have any intention of modifying this, although I could if I wanted to. I've built hitches in the past that have towed well over what this thing's capable of towing, like dump truck hitches. So uh, I'm not too concerned about it. I just don't want to if I don't have to. Uh, I think my plan is to build a plate that's going to pretty much sit on this uh, and attach using some of the same mounting points. The winch is going to sit here. The bumper is going to come out just a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm actually going to try to make it look similar to that one uh, with the exception that the plate is only going to go out to about 
here-ish, uh, and then I want to do tubes uh, around the corners. Uh, I'm considering actually cutting this corner of the bedside off completely, uh, wrapping the tube around the corner, uh, having another tube come up and around. I don't know yet, but we're going to start uh, on the center section um, with some quarter inch plate off the floor uh, and a couple other pieces. Let me show you what we're working with here. So uh, this is my uh, worn 12,000 pound winch. It does work. Uh, I picked it up for like 300 bucks. So uh, it was actually uh, the original winch that was in the front of this truck. Uh, I just decided to upgrade to the 16.5 when I was doing some other work. Um, I have some lights I want to put in the bumper. Uh, these are just some cheap like backup um, floodlights uh, off of Amazon. Uh, and then I bought this, which is uh, meant to clip onto your winch fairly for your license plate mount. Although this is not the one I thought I ordered, uh, but it's been a while since I ordered it. I think it'll gonna work just fine because uh, I kind of wanna, I'm gonna try and recess my, my uh, fair lead here uh, a little bit. Um, so it almost kind of, you almost can't tell that there is a winch in there. Um, some things to think about when you're mounting a winch, uh, obviously some considerations you need to take into account this, which is your clutch release and engage um, for the winch, uh, your control box, unless you have a really nice new one that's wireless. Uh, this one does have a plug-in controller. Um, and I used to have a little red plastic cap that fit on there, but it, it disappeared. Uh, the other thing is the way that your cable comes off the drum uh, you want to make sure that uh, it's coming off um, the same side that the winch is mounted to. Uh, I need to move this uh, back to the back side. Um, and then the, the bolts will be down here in the bottom. Uh, and then my fair lead will actually also mount here uh, with some additional uh, mounting points into the, the frame of the bumper. So. Uh, but you want your cable coming off the bottom, or not the bottom necessarily, but the side that it's bolted to. Uh, so if I had this thing flipped over uh, and mounted from above, I would want my cable coming off of that side. Uh, it just makes it a little bit stronger. So uh, I think we'll get this stuff kind of cleared out of the way uh, and start making some, some plates.
All right, so I think I've got enough cardboard at least to move forward, uh, at least designed here. Um, some of this, some of this stuff, um, these, you know, this is not a cut, that's just an edge. That piece will travel all the way along the front edge along with this piece here. I wanted to give it some depth out, um, but I want to bring it out enough to kind of cover up the top of the hitch. Uh, I think I'll do another piece here that comes down um, just to add a little bit more to it. But uh, And then I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try and reuse the factory license plate lights uh, and set them into here on each side uh, so that it lights up my license plate. But this should kind of kind of conceal the winch mount uh, or the fair leads and you saw my license plate mount just pops on and off. Um, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to make this piece in here, uh, probably go ahead and do this and these pieces and kind of start working my way out on both sides uh, and then work my way around. I may have to do some more cardboard work over here to kind of figure out how to tie all this together, uh, but it's coming along pretty good. Super, super pleased so far. try this again I just did about five minutes of video with no audio no microphones hooked up so uh, we got a bumper somewhat done there's still quite a bit of work left to do to it a lot of welding uh, that needs to get done uh, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna pop this panel off here uh, and do a series of dimple dies along the top uh, probably gonna do like a big one that goes down and then some smaller ones around it coming up just for a little bit of traction if I have to step back there uh, probably going to come back and drill some holes down here uh, just so that uh, water, debris, and muck and mud doesn't stay in there. Uh, give me a way to wash things out. I uh, got my provisions for backup lights. Um, I still need to cut the holes here 
uh, for the license plate lights that need to go on this thing. But overall, super pleased. It's looking really good. So over here, um, these are the factory bumper bracket bolts. Uh, and what I plan to do is take a piece of material, build a bracket that comes out uh, and then ties into the back portion of my, of my bumper. Add a little bit of twisting stability to it. Uh, and then once that's figured out, uh, I intend to come in with some round tube. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with a two inch tube up here. Uh, maybe an inch and three quarter down on the bottom, but the, they're going to come around uh, the side of the truck. And I'm actually 99% sure I'm going to cut the bottom corner of my fender out uh, so that I can cut the tubes in. Uh, and then this one, the bottom one's going to come up uh, at an angle and then kind of around the corner and then tie into the, the other tube. So, oh, maybe I won't cut it out. That's a long ways to run some tube. I don't know. I got to think about that a little bit more. Maybe I'll get some, put some tape on there and mark it out, see how things look. Uh, so far though, uh, pretty pleased with the way this thing looks. Um, I think it's gonna look really killer when it's all blacked out. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video, this first video. This is gonna be a series of videos about this, my butt here, my big ugly truck, because um, I, I do intend to kind of turn it into like an overlanding camping style rig, uh, starting with the rear bumper i uh, probably gonna do some sort of a bed rack in some point with a rooftop tent and a few other things on there. But for now, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you're liking the content, uh, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, um, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of this bumper. Uh, if there's anything you might've done differently or wanna know a little bit about more what I did, why I did things the way I did, uh, let me know. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, in the next video, we will be working on the tubes uh, and maybe a little bit more dimple dyed cheap plate around the side. And we will see you guys in the next episode of Fabrication 101. In the meantime, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and go build something.